still dance now. He's, a, he's exotic too. <laughs> he's exotic. <laughs> Putting all his business in the streets. In so Titi, you are Chelsea fan. Yeah. Chelsea. You came on the wrong no, no. Week, I know. Well, mm. we, we got didn't. nothing to say to you this week. Like, yeah, no, yeah, we, we, we didn't three. deserve the game. I watched the game. Yeah. We didn't deserve. I don't think we deserved it, but the win is a win. I feel like you're gonna implode. Should we do a little recap though? Because I think we could we could bring in Chelsea. I like, like, like I wanted to like really. I'm gonna be saying about Chelsea. Chelsea at the yeah, Chelsea is like they just winning. Yeah. But aren't they in the same bubble as uh, well not bubble, but aren't they in the same bracket as Arsenal? Because at the beginning of the season we'd say no. like, hey, we don't I know what to say about them. Very strong thoughts on Arsenal. We don't know what to say about them. Just now. But yeah, but Chelsea Arsenal. are doing what they always do, isn't it? Arsenal. I, 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 I got no. I don't think Chelsea wins. I don't even think Chelsea comes in top three this season. Think so. No. I don't think they'll win most definitely, but uh, I think you're so top, you think um, they're gonna give Sari another year or a couple years after this? Yeah, I think they are. Uh, let's, let's be honest, right? They've done max. this manager in and then bomb the manager. Maximum two if years. he comes in and he does well, yeah, and starts bad next season, he can get sacked. That's no, Chelsea. I don't know, I think most of the players are happy with him, especially because he gives them like a lot more freedom. But so I, so Conte used to like Push everyone and like tell them where to be at, at certain the like, dictator, point. dictator, and everything. Now this guy says if you're in a spot and you need to get out, you must you must dribble your way. He, this, that's his ideology. Chelsea like a mafia though. You're not a mafia. You can yeah. be a you can be a made man, right? <laughs> Dude, yeah, you make a flop. Like, oh, you. just kill you. <laughs> yeah. You said something stupid. You're like, but I was your boy, like you know. <laughs> but then, I think that hap- that process happens until you find the one, you know. Like look at yo, how, look, how, how, how many how many ones Look at fight. Mourinho now. Yeah. Mourinho is definitely going to get so fired far. from United. I don't know if he's definitely going to get fired. I don't know if he's definitely. The way he's playing, he's not going to be there time. next season. I I can guarantee you that. He's not going to be there. You think it's going to be on his terms or United's terms? Ah, United's going to no, find United's going to find him. Except because I want to say something in mitigation for United. And he's hilarious as last night's result was. And obviously, I care. <laughs> I was I was fully in German. <laughs> so, yeah, we were talking about Lucas Moura on the way here. We eat a luck with that, though. Yeah. It's a luck. We so, did. We eat a luck you with bought that, I was like... Yeah. For 25. No one saw this. That, that's insane. Because he, 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 he was being shopped to everyone. Yeah. But he no, was supposed like, no to be shot of value. Us. He was supposed to come to you guys Even before you guys he went to, 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 PSG. to PSG. Yes. And then you, you guys lost out to PSG because he was like he was the the Neymar, like yeah. the, the, the hot guy. Like sure. We, we need to get him. And then he went there, and then he didn't work out because they got Neymar. And we're like we don't yeah. need. We don't I like need him, bro. Then they're like, jealous. he's been linked with Arsenal. He's been linked with Liverpool. He's mm. been linked with at the same everyone. time before he In, went to United, uh, PSG. Chelsea. Yeah. You so like, the fact that he ended up at Spurs, for me, I'm gonna shout out my man, my ex Lani Declan. What kind of text? <laughs> because me and Declan were having a debate about Lucas Mora at the beginning of the season where I was saying, I saw enough from Lucas Mora at the tail of last season to, to, be, to feel be, confident that he's gonna Yeah, he's, he's a good He's addition. quality, bro. He's always gonna come good at some point. Yeah. His stats right now is that he's been involved in seven goals in the eight matches that he started. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> he, I think assist. he's going to be the We were talking about his Bandlan Hey, you got a quality Bandlan You got a quality Ooh. one Not that one where you're holding one Just Ooh. forget, cuz you <laughs> just be bold <laughs> Why would you not be bold? Yeah, he's 25 Ew, he's You can still be bold at 20 yeah, 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 he, got I mean, the, he got the swell yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you got the swell around the Bandlan I'm sure he doesn't look like He's his girlfriend's age. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look good with his girlfriend right now. It doesn't look good. No, but, but you uh, know what? Uh, Maura and, and uh, Lamella for me, same thing coming there. Last yeah. season they ended well. Both of them. There were some well, signs. Lamella the season well, before. Well. The season okay, before. the injury was, messed it up for injury you, right? Him up. But yeah. they ended well. Like to say, okay, let's see what they got coming this season. I heard somebody say, um, it's a good option for you all to have Maura because it's a good upgrade on Son or Lamella. For me, you'll need all upgrade. three. I don't know if it's upgrade. For me, you're going to need all three. Yeah. I think he is an upgrade. Well. You know what I mean? Yeah. You reckon he's an upgrade? No, that's, that's, a, a, that's a feeling of immediacy. Up, a you're forgetting how many goals Son scored. Crucial goals he scored yes. last yes. season. Yes. Yeah, Son was, was Son is very great. Important. Son but plays up front on his own. Yeah. Yeah. For when Kane is when out, Kane was yeah. out, you're yeah. Yeah. Son made a huge I think Son is important. Mora's better at what he does. I think Son as an out and out winger. Remember, yeah. Yeah. you want to win the league this season. Yeah. I, I think Son doesn't give you a league, but Mora does. Gives you an edge for a league. I don't know. I That's think, a tough uh, one. No, I think Mora hey, has last a season, Last season, last season. Look at last season. You guys were amazing last season. 
Yeah, and it wasn't enough. I don't know if no, but like, no, no, no. You were, but yeah, no, 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 but last season before you were. No, it was the season before, but, but last it wasn't season, enough. Last season was, was insane because you had a super team. Yeah, but like, yeah. Man City, Man City was unbeatable from the fifth match. Like, we, everyone could see that. And we had a good run in the yeah. Champions League, which we never had the season yeah, before. Yeah, no, they, everyone knows. We had a good run in the Champions League. I think Mora is going to make the... It plays a huge part in you in how focused you are. But I want to say something. Mora's peak might be higher than Son. He's 25, bro. Yeah. No, I'm he's saying... He's about to... I'm really. saying his peak is higher. What he's capable of is much more than Son. Yeah, yeah. But Son plays 8 out of 10 every game. Right? I mean, he's very, very consistent. He's always... He's very, consistent. very consistent. consistent. And the what thing is, he's, he's not a he's not an impact player, so the people will not focus on him. Whereas Mora, in a in a couple of games time, Mora's flashier. Yeah, as well, he's flashier. In, in a couple of games times, you're gonna get like tactics around him. People are gonna say, no, no, around Mora. Yeah, keep him out, keep him out. I don't yeah, know. Oh, that's that, the thing you see. Wait, yeah. Last yeah. week I said he had a problem wait. with the physical physical side of the game. I feel Mora. he's gonna have a game like he had last night, and then he'll have a game where he's. In, Let's to get see. I, no, last night we played a different formation. That's what yeah, you're not yeah, understanding. Yeah, yeah. Three so in the back. It, it depends on whether we're gonna play. Nah, or well, two at the back. It was nominally two at the back because he dropped Sanchez and brought in Dembele. So basically, he had Dembele, Dyer next to one another. Eriksen nominally in front. Mora and Dele Ali nominally wide, but there was so much movement, interchanging yeah. Yeah. and movement because Mora and Eriksen give you this ability to because Eriksen's assist came from wide. <laughs> that means Mora was part. Mora was basically playing with Kane yeah, so for that. long spells last yeah. night, you see? And I'm not saying it was good or it was bad. I'm just saying Mora was playing a much more advanced, much more conventional playmaker turns to winger kind of vibe. Like he was switching yeah. between those roles a lot more. He was given a lot of responsibility last How night. How bad is Smalling though on a, on a final tackle? If yeah. I, Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, enjoying yeah. Smalling and Young. When I saw Smalling and Young, I, I, I was so excited. I saw Smalling and Jones. I was so excited. I don't Smalling and Jones. They're the worst they, defenders. Pair. In, I don't understand why Vertonghen and Adovaro are still at Spurs. Vertonghen is going nowhere. Vertonghen is a legacy. He's got it. He's settled himself. I he's just don't Spurs. understand why those guys. I don't know why Adovaro still at Spurs. Yeah. Why? Why? why would United not have taken Adovaro? He was available. We had. If, if I'm Elder Verrall, right? Yeah. And I'm looking at Spurs and United 20, 2018, 2019 season. Um, I'm thinking, where's my best chance of winning a trophy? I'd yeah. stay at Spurs. I'd stay at Spurs. Yeah. You say that, but Elder Verrall wanted to go from last season. Yeah. Elder Verrall's not interested yeah. in being there. He's mm-hmm. not interested in being there. Nah. He's going in Jan or in the summer for. Why would he leave, though? He Spurs has a legit chance of winning the league. Marcher, that's why he's fine. Look, he's fine because of are you nervous? He's not he's going anywhere. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not nervous to jinx it, but I, I always talk my team up. When we did this podcast bro. last week, and I said, we said United, and I was like, we're going to chow it. I'm yeah. always going to talk Spurs up, bro. We all say they're going to chow United. That's what I'm saying. I'm always, I'm never, I'm not that humble. I'm not that fake humble like Hoff was truly in the, in the, in the team this morning. But like, I'm not that. I, li- I like to think my team can chow it. But Elder Varel was not part of Spurs. Can they beat Man City? It doesn't matter if we can beat Man City. To the title. Yeah, I definitely believe we can what beat Man City. What do you think of Man City? Nah, I, be, I think be, be, be realistic. I don't think Chelsea can beat We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Both legs. I don't think. But we can lose I don't both think games any against team Man at City. the moment can beat. But we can lose both games against City and still win the title. Yes. You know who I think can <laughs> yeah. beat? You know who I, I know. But you know who I think can win, can beat Man City the whole season? Wolfsburg and Brighton. Wolves. The only, Wolves. Team, the only teams that can beat Chelsea. That can beat uh, Man City, yeah. sorry. The Wolfbugs and the Wolves. Wolverhampton Wolves. 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 Wanderers. Wolverhampton Wanderers. Brighton is plays in Germany. Bright, Brighton beat Manchester. I mean Wolves Wolves. Yeah, yeah. sorry. They played in no, this um, around the Man United thing though. Yeah, Last yeah. night's game, I want to say something. I don't know how much you're watching the game and how much you're enjoying laughing at them. And I'm gonna enjoy laughing at them. I wanna say something though. <laughs> Man United did not play badly last night, bro. Not in the first half. Nah, they didn't play badly at all. You know, you know, it was always. I watched the majority watch Facebook, of the first right? half. Yeah. And see Man United fans. They're the most. After well, Liverpool, yeah. when you're in your when you're digger, you're gonna win the league. You've got big mouths. Isn't that yeah. every year for most Pretty fans? Much, yeah. <laughs> but Man United fans, they are most vocal on Facebook throwing a match. Yes. They no, no, no. Are on update. Facebook the yes. whole day. And he, he was, you can actually watch the wave <laughs> <laughs> go the, up. The algorithm of Great, great first off, we need a goal now. 
No, but uh, I'm like, uh, you should do that. See? But they should, no, have been, no. they should have been leading at the end of the first one. They should really have. should have been Lukaku's leading. Lukaku's chance, that was guilty. That was an obvious one, but I mean, even besides that. that. There were a few more, there were a few more, but... Um, Lukaku or Bomberyang, if you had to choose a striker. Lukaku is never going to choose a United though. I'm choosing Lukaku without a doubt. Yeah, I'm never going to choose a United though. Lukaku is about, what, four or five years younger than Obama Young as well? Mm. He's 25. Yeah, but that's, that's young, dog, for a striker. Lukaku, we haven't seen the best of yet, and we've seen him be great. Lukaku and statistically has been better uh, on the same level or in the same bracket as Messi. Ronaldo, all those top strikers yeah, from the age yeah, of 17, exactly. 18 statistically. Is that a you talk? It's a fact. 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 It's a goals a season. Even when he went to United last season, he was what? almost on fire. Of course, that he lost. Yeah. 30 goals last season. Guaranteed. In all competitions. Uh, Guaranteed 30 goals a season. How many scores in the league? He fell off hard last season. Not a little bit though. He got up to 20. We got around 20, bro. He fell off hard towards the end, bro. That's not him. United just started playing rubbish ball. Period. Did yeah. you see United yeah. in the first half, even though they played okay, no, no, missing chances. Did you see the body language? Like their shoulders yeah. were, you could just no. see. Let me tell you, my problem with United, and I sent this in a note to the group, Pogba and Fred should not be playing next to one another. Fred, okay, first, let's talk about Fred. Fred was horrific last night. Don't let his energy first and enthusiasm off, I, no, first come off, out was of the fact. <laughs> Don't let that come out of the fact. But he first off, he was okay. He, 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 he intercepted okay? a bit. He, he got okay? a few retrievals, winning the ball back. Okay. He was okay. Like on a level of 1 to he 5, he was about a he 2. He wasn't even in DD uh, quality, two. bro. He wasn't even up to in DD. No, no, no. Then. I don't know what he does, this Fred character. He's supposed to be a Kante in DD. Matic. No way. But no, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw an attack inside of him last night. Okay. Yeah, based on last night, then I don't. I think he's a more box to box from what I saw last night. I know he was brought in as a holding midfielder to more maybe replace Carrick as that yeah. Alonso. No, uh, Matic stuff. was playing super deep. That was that. Yeah, huh? Oh, he got caught to... out a lot, Matic as well. He lost the ball in his own half a few times. Yeah, Matic. Matic. But in terms of a partnership, sorry, but I spoke Fred about last week. There's no partnership at United. Fred and, and Pogba do not play well together. Matic and Pogba don't, don't play well together. Matic and Pogba don't play well together. How do they fix it though? Get a, I think they need a holding yeah. midfield. They need to buy a coquette. Who? Some, coquette. coquette. Atletico uh, Madrid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone who, someone who, who's like, like a Jorginho. Like Jorginho stays it's regardless. Not, Sorry. Yeah, here we go. Here's it. Because oh, now we're then, getting into we we getting into where I want to talk. Here's what they need: Fabinho, Jorginho. Uh, I can't include Keita. I can't, I'm not going to include Keita. I'll tell you why, right? Mm -hmm. And Fred. Of the O's that have come in now this Two season. Months on of the O's that have come in now already this season. You were Chelsea. Yeah. How are you feeling about Joel? Yeah. Jorginho. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect for the team right now. As the way we work. The thing is. Chelsea's going to is he, improve. Is he, is he a defensive midfielder? Wait, 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 he's, what are he's you a central mid midfielder. So old school. Yeah, he's a central midfielder. He stays there. You look at look at it, the way he plays. When he gets the ball, regardless of what happens, he passes. He's he a netter. He doesn't move. He doesn't move with the ball. He doesn't run with the ball. He passes. That's what United don't have. That, that guy. That person. Who so, just yes. links the play. He nets everything. Yes. Everything is knitted. Even if it's a sideways pass or a backward pass, it keeps the momentum of their game going. Yes. You know what I mean? United don't have that guy. Every time a midfielder gets the ball for United, they want to do something. They want to do wanna, something creative. Yeah, they want to do but something. But isn't that Fred's craft? Whose craft is it too? To? This is United Supposed under Mo right now. We don't, we don't know have. it. <laughs> we don't know. We understand that uh, Pogba is meant to be the, the force or the, 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 the main What's Herrera's role? Because this man was a question earlier on that I want to spin back to, but I don't want to stop talking about you now. Yeah. Herrera was trash last night. Let's be real. Yeah. United, United's best yeah. player so far for me this season has been Luke Shaw. And he has been Luke very Shaw average. Yeah, yeah. No, don't say very average. He's been Luke very Shaw average for a left back. There's way better left backs in the league right way now. Way better than Luke. Way better. So he's been no, average. I'm better. just trying to put That's into like context how better. pathetic United have been. That Luke Shaw was one of their best players so far this season. Yeah. 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 So Mourinho is the first big top six coach goal. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I, think, I think what's going to happen here. Mourinho is either going to get bombed now. Like right. Lacamache. Sure, sure, sure. He's either going to get bombed right Manners. now. Like he's going to get bombed now. Or, I think there's a chance Mourinho turns it around. Based on last night's evidence, yes, they got banged. But I saw enough there that if Mourinho starts coaching, if he gets his tactics right, if he stops being, if he stops being a little girl about the way that he's doing things, in the sense that I'm normally your friend. Because he's doing it with his players now. I'm normally your friend. The truth is, 
If he looks at his bench last night and brought on Rashford when they were 2-0 down, remember when they went 1-0 down, they had a very good chance immediately after that. Yes. Immediately after that. In between the two goals, they had a quality chance. Bro. Spurs were a little bit on the ropes up until and even straight after the goal. So I'm saying when they were 2-0 down, if Mourinho had gone super attacking, yeah. They could have done something there, bro. But the thing is, uh, I haven't seen Mourinho... You can't bring on Fellaini to, to switch a game around for you in the end, bro. You just can't. But like, we thing, haven't man. seen Mourinho like, coach really well. Now, until getting to where I the last, I haven't seen him coach really well. Uh, the last time I saw him coach really well was Chelsea's first, his first Inter season. Milan, Inter Milan, bro. No, no, no. Chelsea's first season when, when he won the league. league. Hey, he did a job at Inter. No, Inter Milan after, after They won the treble there. He did an absolute mm. job there. No. He, did, he did a quick job. Yeah. Quick, quick. The players were crying when he left, remember? Yeah. <laughs> oh, with Schneider and them. Yeah, I think Schneider was in that team. And that Argentine striker up front that he had two seasons best in his career. A, a, no, he's a Bali. He was a relatively old, <laughs> old striker, but he had him in the treble. Oh. I know you're talking about Bang um, gold for him. Crespo, no, 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 no. Not, um, Argentine. Not even a top Argentine player. Like hasn't but played. But a P, Papam, Papam. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But he had him. Palermo, no. He no. had him. Oh, but I know you're talking about. But in terms of coaching, our point being... I can see him. Being, like, I can see him. I just can't think of the Our name. point being, he brought the best out of Ozil like that. That we, that the world weren't so familiar yes, with. but you know? I've been saying for a while that I don't think Mourinho's as a mega star as y'all make him out to be. Who's been saying that? Me. On this podcast last week. Here's my, here's my thing with think, Mourinho. Yeah. When he came onto the scene, um, coaches for me weren't really blockbuster type coaches you know where you like, cool, like your cool, peps cool, now cool. You're, you know you're talking about and sports off. yeah when he came into to Chelsea even he tried to make a name for himself he came in I'm the special one da, 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 da. you know what I mean he tried to hype I himself up because he's one of but, the new coaches that came in as a coach coach but because he never had a serious football I mean even philosophy so to no, speak I'm saying even Vega yeah. played a bit of ball didn't he not really yeah he but he played a bit, bit. But as far as I know, this will never play at all. He has an addition to that Sunday point, right? Because this guy is a, is a translator. Yeah, he's a, he's yeah. a glorified but, you know, translator. No, he has an addition yeah. to that point, right? Because <coughs> I, can, I can make it relative for, for Arsenal as well in terms of having your style of play. Wenger, we know what Wenger is about, we know what Mo's about. But the evolution of their game and to change season by season. Look at Pep this season, playing two strikers, changing his midfield. Still got his ideology of the way he wants to play ball, sure. but he's changing it, he's molding it to how can he now be better this season? You know, yeah. because everybody knows second it's season. It's the wrong week to talk about that now. Every, <laughs> <laughs> but no, Mo for me doesn't have that in him. He's going to keep doing what he wants to do and keep doing regardless of what people say. Then he's, he's going to keep bomb. doing it. Then I can't defend him. Then he's naked bomb. Yeah, that's, was, that's old man. No Mata on the bench. No Martial on the bench was a big flop for what's, what's the game. issue with Martial? Martial like is him. one of their best players. I don't understand why like they're not him. using him. They should give it to us. <laughs> we give them William. William we is tried, old. Yeah. We said Aldo Varel for Martial and they I think it's personality and character. Mo just doesn't like him. He doesn't like too many people. That's, That's my a problem thing. with him. Yeah, every it's a personal to, thing. Every team he goes to is clashing with, with, with Ozik. Eh? That's it. It's his, it's his personality. <laughs> I mean, Fabregas didn't want to play for him at Chelsea. So, like, <laughs> this guy has a, pro- he has a personal problem. They didn't want to play. play. Mm. Matic didn't want to play. He didn't want to go down the field. The Rats. Yeah. The Rats. So no, Matic is the one. Matic. Oh, Matic. Matic. But do you blame Mourinho or do you blame the, blame the board? Okay, we understand why they brought him in. Mm. His history proves that he's won in three different, uh, you know, three different titles, three different countries. Mm. Stability after United hadn't won the league for a while. But is he the image of the way United want to play? Nah. It's a, it's a, I think it was it's a, a hell no there. I United think it don't was play that way yeah. of football. That's Chelsea's way. That's Real Madrid's way, so to speak, you know, yeah. for the Italian What's way. What's United's way in the post Fergie era? Let's be real, let's start there. Because you're talking about this, like they have some identity. No, that's what I'm saying. No so is it, is it, is it no, more to blame? Is it more to blame? Because no. to keep the identity, the board need to make a decision on that. The board chose to bring in Mourinho, who, have the, who has the his board, whack identity. The board are not football people. Mm. The board is supposed to appoint the right football people to get the football right. Mourinho is not going to play the type of football um, United fans want. Attacking, but wingers. But they finished second last year. That's not bad, bro. To push on from second to first is a lot easier than pushing on from fourth to first. No, no but, but in first. the context of last season, no way. You know the way that the, the match was hit up last night? The, the cameras. Yeah. 
as United got closer and closer to the end, and like you know the the reality of what just took place at Old Trafford was sinking in. They kept switching the camera to Ed Woodward. Yeah. yeah. Almost deliberately saying, "This is the reason this is happening." <laughs> I don't I, I think so. In the minds of uh, like a United fan watching. Yeah. Even if you want that con, that like subtle uh, subliminal uh, manipulation of your mind. Like, Absolutely. And how he's standing there with his brass and suits, make you, make you mad. Like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree. That's exactly but what it's doing. We quite three weeks ago. We we're laughing at United because they didn't make the right transfers in the window. And then we sit here now and try to take blame away from those also. Those ones are to blame. United did not make the type of transfers. They did not sign players that they needed to yeah. to decline the season. Oh, so maybe they're yeah. not 100% behind Mourinho and what he's trying to do. They don't, they're obviously not. They're not. Yeah. So they're they're obviously not. I think the, the, like, he they're, made, they're, yeah, against Mourinho. Brighton, uh, Woodward sat after the game. He just sat. Checking the field, he didn't even, didn't even go straight away. You'd imagine all these those in suits after the game's done, they go shake hands, hey, well done. He just sat and he looked at the field. Yeah, but also like, that's also shit because as much as I'm saying that about Mourinho, you can't not be beating Brighton and you can't be using three 0 to Spurs at Old Trafford, bruh. Like no matter how bad things is going, you can't be that bad. <laughs> and that's where Mourinho getting bombed becomes a reality. Oh. No, he definitely. At the same time, I want to qualify that statement by saying this. I'm not talking about Brighton, I'm talking about Spurs. I'm telling you, what we did to United last night, we can do to anyone, cuz. I believe that. Like, we can do that to any team. I believe oh, I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm right away in my posting bag now, and I'm saying, hey, we can do I that believe to anyone. That. I, I believe know, that, but I'm I'll not have saying to say we're this. Gonna do that to anyone. I'm not saying we're gonna do that to anyone. I'm not saying we're gonna. No, no, I'm Jake, saying, yeah. I believe you. I'm not believe you. Individually, I, I agree with you, but that was a United team that you can't really. Bro, say, Jack, yeah, we beat United 3 0 at home. Yeah. Just because it's United doesn't mean it is a good I'm not talking about United. I'm saying we three of three this season. And I'm saying the team is starting to come together. We've got different individuals coming through. Yeah. Harry Kane had a shit game last night and scored a goal and got an assist. And he had a horrible game, bro. He's not firing right. Yes. Deli Ali had a shocker last night, bro. It's like you're playing with 10 minutes. He could have had two or three goals. He had a shocker. He didn't take a shot on his left for open nets. He didn't take the shot. Yeah. So I'm saying Spurs are looking scary at the moment. If we're not playing to our top potential last night and we three from three, bruh, I'm putting us in that conversation. No, no, no. I've been talking about it a lot since um, Carvin mentioned last week he didn't joke that Spurs can actually win the league. That was his pick. Let's be honest, you didn't buy anybody because Potch didn't feel you can strengthen your team by any uh, but just out there. It also turns out it was some financial scar tuggeries. And all of that, okay? Yeah. But called who, didn't, <laughs> who didn't play last season in your defense? Mentioned him earlier. Alderweireld. Alderweireld. Who didn't really play a huge part in the Rose season? Didn't play. Who scored a goal last night? Lucas Moura. Right? Yeah. Rose barely played last like season. Like new signings almost, no? Right? Exactly. So. These are like new signings and adding to your team. So where you were last season, I already see you're adding a few more points just because of that. You've got three centre backs in your team that are for me can walk into most teams in the top six. Most teams, uh, not even top six. I'll say top three. In the world, right? Mm. Top top centre backs. Midfield is where I felt you maybe needed to make one signing, right? I just know it doesn't. But up front you're okay. You've got Son. You've got Kane. You've got Eriksen. You've got uh, Lucas Mauri. You've got Lamella. You've got you got potential in but I, I think we're short. I think I think we're still short. Where are you short? Yeah. yeah. We short just based on City's level. That's yeah. No, what just position? What position? I, I, I don't think we're short um, in terms of uh, quality players and what we how we play and what we need to do. Are you happy do. with the players you have? You've, you've very happy with the players. Whole you squad. Have. Whole squad. Whole squad. I'm very happy. Um, but I think City have set the bar. I think Liverpool are light. I think if I, I, I offered you, you the brainer, if I offered you the brainer. Four. Who would you take out to replace him that you, in your squad that you're happy with? Oof, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily start the brainer in my team. Ah, you. No, 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 not the much. Brainer. Not to say the brainer is a bad team, world. but the way that we are currently playing. If I offered you um, Aguero, would you would you play? No, not again. Not a. Not I hit a Firmino. Not for a sure. Of, for goals, for yes, sure. but not the way that we play. Not the way that we play. So you wouldn't play for goals, goals, yes, but not the way that we play. Oh man, uh, if you could have the brainer. Aguero, Jesus, those players wouldn't make your starting lineup. 
Maybe not Jesus. No, no, not Jesus. <laughs> not, not Jesus. De Bruyne, definitely. Aguero, definitely. But the way that we're currently playing now. Oh. De Bruyne, the De way you're currently oh. playing, are you saying all of three of those players? Look, based on a full season of Aguero and De Bruyne, last season they'll start in my team. But the way that we're currently playing now. You're happy. I'm, I'm happy. I'm content. Like we were talking about the, the lack of United having a type of midfielder. Gini Vijnaldum Vigna, on the week. You should have seen his heat map. Sideways, like sideways, him. backways. 90, 100% pass rate linking the play for other like players him, to I do like stuff. Him. United don't have that at the moment. So, you know, in terms of the way we're playing, I think we got a good pass. I think, you know, people are asking, what, what does Xhaka do? I think Xhaka is supposed to be doing that. Yeah, Xhaka is supposed to be doing something. <laughs> you know what? He, he must just find something You know what? If I anything. watched Arsenal for... Uh, uh, I, I can't remember what time of the game. But where you all had... About 20 minutes, Zaka and, and when Torreira came on, you were pinging balls into uh, um, Lukaku, into Lacazette and uh, Oboma Yang feet, like stingers from midfield, just pinging it into the midfield, getting it there and then pushing it wide. I think that's his job, instead of just linking it, because you'll played with an umbrella attack, you'll had like five holes across the front I, line, two in the I, middle. I want to know why football fans, why are you, why are you talking to get child next week or something? But over the same team, why are you all scared to say Xhaka is shit, Pogba is shit? There's some always that look Pogba like, is just, they just not, shit. Pogba they just, is a problem at United. Yeah. I'm telling you, Pogba and any other team right now, Pogba yeah. Juventus, Pogba Real Madrid, Pogba Barcelona, is doing things, bro. Yes, but the problem at United is there's a problem there. We're looking at Pogba to say, do something. There's too much of looking <laughs> at Pogba at United and going, come on. No, poking him with a stick. Come on, cuz. Does, 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 does the money have anything to do with it? Of course, it? He's the money. Price tag. He's been billed as a superstar. United have a, long, man. They have a long history of having a superstar, a marquee player. He's Sanchez a, was the same. They had the whole piano in the middle of Old Trafford. Sanchez supposedly too much, league, too much. pulling the strings for United. What has he pulling done? Pulling the strings! Yeah. This is <laughs> I'm going to make but a you piano. Not a song. <laughs> Sorry. Pulling the strings. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, right? I, I do gardens, right? Music is not my thing. Music is not my thing. No, but uh, San, the Sanchez unveiling was great. Why did you think the Jet has got some more additions to edit on that video? Yeah. <laughs> Why do they think that Pogba is a superstar? Yes, it got a lot to do with money. Is a superstar. I got a lot to do with age. I got a lot to do with his, his vibe. His, his, off, his persona off the field yeah. is that of a superstar. He but is Latan. He is no, like he's, he got, he's Ronaldo. No one is Latan. No, but Latan is Latan. <laughs> but Pogba, Pogba and Juventus. They got this thing about them. This A. Hey, yeah. We are the O, right? Yeah. The problem is any of the other players that you mentioned. They do when something. When you put the ball on the ground. They do something. Yes, and I think it's because they have a very different role. Ronaldo might wear a lot of different hats, <laughs> but he has a very different role, which is to run at players, to out muscle and to score goals. Yeah. Does Pogba outmuscle? Pogba got outmuscled by Danny Rose at one point in the game last yeah, night. Yeah, I saw that, but I have to say, as I mean, United also is a he's very strong on the ball. He's actually very strong on the no, ball, and he not. doesn't lose the ball that often. Dembele it's like bullied him last that night. That was your game. Dembele bullied him. That was your game. game. I'm talking in general. No, as a there was a time when Man United was on top in that game, and even when they were on top, again, Pogba you're was still was speaking about this game in general. He's very strong on the ball. Ask United also. He doesn't okay, lose the ball a lot. For, one on one, one on one in midfield, he won't lose the ball a lot. But he's very strong. And, and okay, they but very okay, deep. But Being strong You're judging board. him in your game last night. You can't judge him on that. Oh, I'm, no, I'm judging him game. from a season of one. I, I have not seen <laughs> Pogba boss a game in the Premier League. It's not about last night. In general, when have you seen? I've seen Pogba I score haven't. a goal. Do you seen Pogba get an assist? Do you I've seen Pogba with a flick. I have not seen him boss a game, boss a game for doesn't. the whole game. Do you? Do you? What but you, United have not dominated a game. For the, the whole, whole game, yeah. it's not the way that it's Mourinho and the way he plays. He doesn't allow his so players saying, to do that. All like what Corbin saying, you saying Pogba's style doesn't lend itself to the way United plays? No, you, you, I'm, I'm agreeing with you on, on this point. Playing in any formation, you should be able to see what the player can do. Thank you, because that's my. And point. Pogba's not doing anything in any formation, really. Because if we're talking about superstars, if you told Cristiano Ronaldo to play left back for a game. He'd be a good left back. Yeah. He'd be he'd a good left back. <laughs> You'd see, yeah. Yes, he'd make some runs, he'd track some holes. You get what I'm saying? Mm. That's okay. a superstar. Yeah. <coughs> okay, uh, I can see maybe that. He's point. Maybe he's football <laughs> game. That's a patch, dog. Jacques is see even a more of a patch than Pogba. But I don't know you should sing Jacques. 
Um, not, not I like him. Not good. You would like him. Stuart got his habits of liking weird players. He's got, a, that's ama- what. He's got an amazing left foot on him. If, if he can use it in his midfield, he's got a good left foot. Who? Pogba. Xhaka. 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 Are you a fan of Xhaka? Mm. You're a fan? Mm. What does he do though? I'm an Arsenal fan. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what you see, you ordered the party chow? No, I said for eleven thirty. Oh, Alright, love that. No, no, no. You, you, put, think, a, you, you put a you put a pan and chow on a on a schedule post. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a schedule post. I would like that post Having to go out at eleven thirty. Party chow, party chow. Only Pok. I think Pokba is a superstar, man. Like if you take Pokba. Pogba at uh, Juventus, they were playing a very different system to, to what they're playing now. And you, it's a very different manager. So, like, you know, this guy doesn't want him to be the star because Mourinho... You think Mourinho doesn't want him to be the star? No, I think Mourinho's looking for him. To, Mourinho needs Pogba to save him at this point. The only person that can save Mourinho is Pogba. Who else is on but Pogba's look, but look at, ability-wise? Look at, look at Ronaldo. I'm saying he's a patch. I understand that he has ability. I don't think anyone. There's no but, one after that. But look at Lukaku Ronaldo at... No ways. Lukaku needs a lot of you guys, service. You guys, Lukaku needs service. Yeah. You guys Lukaku's a player support. that he needs support. I don't see what you'll see in Lukaku. Lukaku yo, Lukaku's one of the best strikers in the world. Lukaku's goal record. When? Yes, Stuart said this. Fun goal record. Yeah, his goal record's great. At Everton. I don't like him, but his goal record's great. Okay. Even in the World Cup, he was, he was decent. I think he just doesn't like United <laughs> yeah. players. Yeah. No, I don't. I like Pogba. Pogba's one of my favorite players in the whole world. Based on what? Based on what on his saw. vibe. Yeah, based on his hairstyle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Based on his swagger in the midfield. Yeah. What swagger? He does. He's he's yeah, he's dabby. He's dabby. <laughs> yeah. Good Wait, thank you so much. Sir. Who's you? Met, who's United captain? Pogba. Is he? I need to know I why. Know. Is he a captain? No, yeah, I've seen him wear the, the, the armband. Oh no. Bruh, but tell you but if it's maybe, not him, then it's small Maybe, it comes, maybe it comes from supporting a small club <laughs> with no history and all that, right? I like but, the way you say that. No, because uh, me, when I, I'll be honest with you, when I watch a game and I watch a lot of, fan, I watch a lot of Spurs team, fans wouldn't be happy when you say no history. No history, and yeah. And I'm joking when I say that because that's what we get told. We oh, what, what's the history? Tell us. Game. Oh, I'm not joking when I say that to you. You're going no history. Tell us what's the history. <laughs> tell us what's the history. Spurs are the first club. Yeah, I see you said back in the UK. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can ask my pipe out now. Pull out your archives, tell us why Spurs is even a thing. Why are they even Spurs supporters in Durban? Like, it makes no sense. They've done nothing phenomenal no, in the last the cup run in the 20 80s. hot odd years tell us our cup to justify anyone in our team. age group supporting yeah, them. In our what age have group. they done? No, in our why age, are they Spurs listen, supporters? In our age group. What kind of be? <laughs> in our age group, Spurs have won two League Cups in the time that I've been watching the board. Mm. How old are you, Neil? To, to be old I'm enough 36. to watch I'm Spurs. 36. How old is the Premier League? How old is the Premier Spurs League? Have, Spurs haven't won the Premier League. Exactly! Yet. How old is the Premier League? So you say teams that have won the Premier League only no. need supporters? No, I'm saying <laughs> age. Age related, right? When oh, you're watching football, okay, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, two, I've got two things. Two leagues, two, two league cups in the whole Premier League. Ah, yeah, dog. Two league cups. There's in no chance So that's why game. when I say to you, Spurs need to win a cup, you're like, no, not just season. You okay with it? Like, <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm not, I'm not, it's been so long. <laughs> no, don't don't know. Know. We are right to love silver. My pride with being a Spurs supporter right now. That's why it's hard to expose. You celebrate, you'll never win nothing. I'm like, yes, because we've been rubbish for a long time. 20 like, odd years. What? From the time I started, I have never seen Why did Spurs. you support Spurs? My father is a Spurs supporter. Ah, there we go. You yeah. didn't, didn't have a choice. Yeah, exactly. so, so there's no history there. It's yeah. just your father. Okay, so I, you know, oh. you know, no, honestly, I wanna, who would you I really support I wanna, I wanna, now? You grew up with Spurs. Uh, now, I want to say something. Yeah. Pajamas. I do want to say something, though, right? <laughs> right now, if you can't see how Spurs are playing, if you can't see the ball that has been played at Spurs now, then you are Arsenal fan or you just, you willfully ignoring. And that's why I get crossed because we were talking about Pogba. Dem, Musa Dembele, to me, if he wasn't playing for Spurs, if he was playing for another club, I love would be him. appreciated differently. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. Christian Eriksen, if he was playing for another club, would be appreciated differently. He'd be a star. I also like him. Yeah, bro. I was like, Harry Kane, Harry Kane has become like the butt of a joke. We all say one man team. That one man team joke has been running for a while now. England, but it, yes. it applies in England. And the truth is, 
Harry Kane is one of the more replaceable superstars that we have. You are talking nonsense. This is a long debate. Who are you going to uh, replace him between who? Neil and I? Harry Kane. Who are you going to replace Harry Kane is the top striker in the world. In the world, world yeah. Okay. And it's a guy who scored a hat trick in the World Cup. Football, we don't necessarily need no, you know the best times, striker in the world. You, you do. Do you know how many times Harry Kane grounded at Paul <laughs> into a corner? Low, okay. and like just now you said. Let him run. Let him run. Let him run. You, 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 you felt as if, yeah, yeah, you felt as if, if Spurs scores, yeah, they're on it, and Harry Kane pulls this grounder. How many grounders that man scored, bruh, in the last two, three seasons? Goals. Harry, Harry Kane has scored a phenomenal amount of goals. Exactly, bruh. That's the phenomenal difference. Phenomenal amount. No, but, but now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to my point. The only way I can judge how we would, and again, I'm not saying we should sell Harry Kane. I'm saying if we had to sell one of Vertonghen, Eriksson, Kane, like I'm talking about. Whoa, you sell whoa, Kane, whoa. your season collapses. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, stop. Easy. I am, you basing that on? On his contribution. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm basing it on his contribution over the last oh. two seasons. Oh, you sell in Kane. the last two seasons, how many games did Harry Kane miss? Because that's what you're forgetting. Harry Kane is quite an injury prone player. Yeah, but when and he, when he was but, out, you'll want the majority of them, right? Not we'll majority. Give you we want 97 percent of the game. We'll give you that. Say. We'll give you that. We'll give you that, right? But that's but not a whole season without Harry Kane. You can't just skim over it. You can't. I'm no, saying, you can. I'm it's saying it. Harry Kane is not as pivotal to the way we play as Eriksen or Vertonghen or even Loris. Who were those games against? It's a valid point. Valid point. Who were those games against? No, it was a long run of games. But oh, no, yeah, it was a long run Harry of games. Misses a lot more games than you think he does. But no, Carvin, this Harry is the thing. Just now he said Chelsea though. can't win any league or finish top four without Morata getting 20, 25 goals a season, right? Yeah. And why did I say that? Why did I say to that? Sell why did I say that? Wait, wait, wait. I to sell if Harry Kane. If Harry Kane doesn't score those goals, where would they come from? First, Loris as far as I have answers. You so don't. What do you mean? Maura hasn't even played a full season. He has scored 20 goals last season. Okay, cool. Take so away Harry Kane, not and you're taking away an easy 10, 15 points. Christian Eriksen scored 12 goals and got like 19 assists. So you think season. he can go up to 20? What do you mean? 20 goals, Eriksen. Or 15 or 16. No ways. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, Son, whoa, Son whoa, needs whoa. to go to 30. You no, know, we're talking whoa, no. If, if Kane is not there, these are the figures these O's need to start producing. Son needs to go to 30. Eriksen needs to so go you're up. Saying Maura needs to go I don't think that's possible. I think you'll can't replace... Possible. I think oh, Kane, no, no, not impossible, but in terms of losing Harry Kane and getting the rest of the, the team to score. Whoa, wait, but, but you're talking and I'm telling you it already happened and in that period... Not for a full season. A, 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 nine, nine games, nine games. Nine games. How many games in the season? One third of your I'm, season. That's, oh, that's over a quarter of the season. A third of the but season. But when Harry right? Kane's in, those grounded goals disappear. Oh, well, except a third of the season is a quarter. long time. A quarter. Long. It's a quarter. Even a quarter is a long time. It's long. Oh yeah, it is long. That's a long time it takes. But Harry Kane's but grounded goals, they come in handy. They give, Kane, you, they give you easy 10-12 points Harry Kane a season. Harry is an amazing striker that could go play for any team in the world. I am not trying to tell you. And that makes it why, that makes the, the reasoning behind the fact that he's irreplaceable or the most of difficult to replace. He's irreplaceable in terms of a direct replacement, for sure. I'm just saying of the superstars, players at Spurs, Harry Kane is the most replaceable. I don't agree. Who plays like Ericsson? Because I can tell you strikers that, that strike like Harry Kane. Oh, Ooh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not, we're not saying Kaku. why. You talking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> There's no we're not saying Kaku replace Harry like for like Neil. What does he do What's, for? How many, how many goals does Lukaku miss? What's Lukaku's goal record versus Harry Kane's goal record? Wait a minute, if you nice Games per right? goal. No, no, don't say if you nice. Games per goal was Harry Kane's scoring record versus Lukaku's scoring record. Keeping in mind that Lukaku plays in a horrible team right now. Mm -hmm. And Harry Kane plays in one of the slickest you attacks. You're getting it, uh, Robin? Please I'm getting it, it, yeah. Please bring that up. Because that's also very important. So I check my emails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, to make your comparison, do that. But I'm, my thing I'm is this: Ericsson does what? He's a creator. He's a linker of play. He can bring two or three O's in. He can create. He can, is a, he's a, a true ball. I'm right? telling you something now. So because those he things. Spurs, what he does is underrated. I'm not underrated now, by me. Maybe by the majority what of O's. Ericsson does. You can't just get a player to replace that. Oh, yeah, but you can. can't. You but can't you can. Get a player to replace that. You can. Maybe you get ooh, two players. Ooh. that can two. Do but two I'm different saying, things and bring other players' abilities into the game. So you replace one player with two players and you feel like... You can replace the creativity, the movement in midfield, the whatever yeah. in midfield. But you can't just buy a striker and say, right, give me 30 goals. You can't do that. But you can do it in midfield in by the, bringing in variations was, of types of players, different types of players. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. A striker is the most team-dependent position on a soccer field. 
If you are a okay striker playing as part of a <coughs> fluid attack, you are gonna get gold. I can't. I can teach you how. Except you can be tall. If you listen, if you're tall and you're strong, <laughs> if you're tall and you're strong, and you learn technical <coughs> things, if you spend time on a pitch learning technical ability. You can score goals if you're playing in a good attack. If you're getting yes. the service and people are creating yes. chances for you, you can score goals. I can't teach Ericsson to do what Ericsson does. And that's mm -hmm. the difference. Ericsson's not tall, he's not fast, he's not any of the things that Harry Kane is. Mm -hmm. He's not his his technical ability is not linked to what you can train. I can train how to pass yes. goals. I yes. can't train vision of yes. when to let a pass yes. goals. You can't train someone when to let a pass goal. Yes. And that's what I'm saying. Harry Kane. We've seen what happens when Harry Kane is out of the team. And I'm trying to explain to you For that a brief point. Son... Brief time. 11 games are a lot of games, but I'm saying Son, in that time, got gold. Yeah. Because it's a product of the way we play. Yes. Dele Alli scored a fair amount of gold because... Of the way. Making yes. runs at... That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Harry Kane, his goals are not individually great goals. He's on the end of moves. Yes. Yeah, so I'm saying. And he starts some of them with, the, with his hold up play. Oh, Harry Kane's passing is very underrated. Yeah. His passing is a very underrated, bro. And when we were doing the Aguero Kane comparison back in the day, that's what I said. I said, how many assists does Aguero get? Because Harry Kane gets a fair amount of assists. Yeah, Salah outshines them all, but we're not going to talk about Salah. No, but, uh, <laughs> no, no. no. But Your point's that. valid, Neil, but here's my thing, right? I'm saying. The vision, the creativity of an individual player in midfield, I get, I get your point, right? But as a whole, we're talking about a striker and goals that he brings to the team. As a midfielder, the creativity and what he brings to the team. You can replace Ericsson, not necessarily by a guy who's got more vision. Okay. Uh, maybe in a different way that brings other attributes what's of the, the players into the game. Kane Lukaku. Okay, Kane. Get to it. Kane. <clears throat> Kane has been involved in 30 fewer matches than Lukaku. Injury record. Which right. Is important as well, yeah? He's played in just 37 compared to 67, while he started just 34 of those compared to Lukaku's 56. All this gives the England captain a record of a goal every 172 minutes against the Premier League's elite. This is against the top six. Oh no, that's a, that's a bad so I'm saying, just like Kane versus Lukaku head to head. He's better than Lukaku, we know that. Okay. Statistically as Okay, look, this no, is interesting No, he's not though. statistically better than Lukaku. He's not, in the Premier League. Lukaku scores every 319 minutes. In the Premier League. But he does post a better record when it comes to assists. Okay. But in the Premier League, Kane's finished above him in the past three seasons. How can you have more goals than, Luka than, uh, than Kane? What do you mean? Kane scored more goals than Lukaku in the past three seasons. Lukaku's been... No, you're not listening to me. Lukaku has been playing for a longer time in Harry Kane number So one. what stats are we trying to get a comparison of? Their actual efficiency, head-to-head. -head. Lukaku's not as shit as you want him to be. That's what I'm trying to get No, not me, here. them. I know his stats. But I, I said it's good when it comes from Chelsea. Harry Kane and Lukaku are very... They, as a direct comparison, it's very relevant. They are comparable as strikers. And I'm saying Lukaku getting goals at United for me now is amazing because Lukaku has to do so much to get those goals. But hold on, you, you, you spoke uh, about Spurs, right? And the fact that Kane gets so many goals because of the way that you'll play. Product what about the, the O's that you're bought in as a number two behind Kane? If you create so many goals, they should be scoring those goals. How come they weren't? Who's the number two? Yeah, oh, you'll have over the past three seasons, you'll have Clean Silas. What's it? Sin, sin, what? Striker? He's still there now. Vincent Janssen. Janssen. Uh, yeah. Before that, oh, you'll add. Um, Vincent Janssen. See, now we can go to it. But now I'm talking to striker for So Rado came in Felix before Kane. Mm -hmm. Right? That was when Kane started shining. And so Rado failed. And so Rado failed. 30 30 mil failing, right? But was Poch there? Let's not say that's him on fire. Was top was Poch there? <laughs> yeah. Was Poch there? No. So we're talking about the way you'll play now and the fact that so, Kane scores so the in only, the past three the seasons. Only Poch has been there. Can, the only backup striker. Jansen. Lorente. That's it. And Lorente. That's it. <laughs> what you want me to say? No, but they're not scoring goals. If if they if they. Yeah, but they're just shit strikers. It's got nothing to do with. I don't know if Lorente is a shit striker. I think he's a good striker. He was Ooh. a good striker. Lorente is. Uh, ah, I think he's good. good. I think time was yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time is over, though. Yeah. Yeah. Jensen. He, Jensen's a young old. He came from the league. He was, he was scoring once every two wouldn't. games. He's a patch. Okay, no, Jensen in a weaker league. In a weaker league. In a weaker league. He is a patch. What's his name? Alfonso Elves seem like a. But no, but your point. Your point was. That if you're playing in a, in, a, in a system that you'll play where you'll create a lot of goals, a lot Harry of chances. Kane is the most replaceable person. No, that your your striker should be scoring goals. That's what you said. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So how come these other strikers that you'll have are not getting the goals? Are they just 
Number one, Jansen didn't really play. He didn't Fair, yeah, they haven't had a good team. run. Neither Son had a good team. run and he scored goals, so your point is, is evident there. Yeah. Son scored a lot of goals once we put him... We can, I'm not saying we can put anyone there. Obviously, I'm not saying that. It's but lunchtime I'm saying, now, we're having another button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you put a fairly competent striker in that Spurs setup, he's going to score, he's going to get goals. He's going to get goals. He's going to get goals. But will it be enough? Will it be enough? Because as I said, the rest of your I midfield... I can't say what it's enough because... The Kane, rest of your nid, nid, midfield need to go Kane's up a level. there now and we haven't won anything. So I can't tell you, if Kane's not there, what we're going to win. Mm. I'm just saying, Harry Kane's importance to Spurs is overstated compared to the other stars. I'm not saying he's rubbish. I'm never going to say that. I'm just saying direct comparison to Eriksson's importance, for Tongan's importance. You think experience and the league running is, is maybe hampers Spurs? Maybe the biggest thing that hampers Spurs, because I think you've got a you've got a team that's capable of going the distance. You did it two seasons ago, where you finished second, as a good second. Oh no, no, no! It was Arsenal that pipped you to second, but you're, you're you close. Finish. The majority of the season you were close, and you did finish second. So experience and run in for me were the only things you were lacking. Those two, now those you'll two have seasons, a little bit of that. Those two seasons we played. One of the youngest teams in the history of Premier League football. Yeah, yeah. We did played one of the youngest. Yeah. Deli Ali was 19 in that run. And your whole thing was, oh, we don't need to go buy superstars. Our, our lights is there, they will improve. We won't want anything with kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair assessment, that thing. So, wow, well, that's what they said. I didn't so, with that kids. three years of experience and uh, the league running towards the end, you'll think you can go a little bit closer? I, I obviously think that, but I'm the wrong player. <laughs> like, honestly, uh, yeah, I, I would say they can. I'm uh, also a fan. I would not. I, I said it uh, in the first podcast. You, they, Spurs are you, this team now. They're not going to just disappear. Spurs, disappear. Spurs are getting this team now. Put money on it. Bet. Put the, money on it. The club's going to never. Christmas. No Clubs way. Christmas. There's a little more explosion. How much, how much is club spent now? There's an implosion coming. He only... <laughs> he's he's like caught up. Million. He's serious? caught up. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. The way he's lying. He's caught no up. No one since Jurgen Klopp has arrived in the Premier League. Has spent no more. manager has spent more than Jurgen Klopp. You're joking. No one. Except, but look at it this way. No right? one. <laughs> you living in the Lani section, you've been spe- you're used to spending crown. But I just got the crown now. I'm going to catch up to you. That's all we're trying to do. Uh, That's all no we're trying to do. No one has spent more money than Klopp. That's no all we're trying to do. If we go back 10 seasons and we start looking at the Lovren Markovic era of buying players, Liverpool has spent. Yeah, but our net spend hey, is the best. Don't talk about Liverpool. It is, yeah. except if I the sell my car, who? I can best only buy another car because I've got money from selling best the car. Best amongst who? No, this the best amongst who? Leave Spurs out, right? You're, <laughs> a, you're, <laughs> not, not, com- you're not competitive so in who this you market. Compare to? Just net spend is only better than maybe United we, we, City. We have a, a lower net spend than all of them. Yeah. Man United, United, Chelsea, and City and Arsenal. No, I mean, yes. Arsenal. No, yes. Yes. Yeah, no, 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 there's a graph. Yes. I've seen that stat. Um, you, Arsenal have not been million. selling big, big okay, money players. Anyway. This is me get back. Hey, to Arsenal sell a player for two million next. Let me get back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I'm get back to my point, Jen. Klopp is spending. I wanted to against you. I won't lie. Klopp is spending a shit ton of money at Liverpool. Has he though? Yes. Or has he only really spent this year? Last year. Because let's be honest, 30 mil is an average for the top six. So when he was buying players last season, average for who in the top I, six? How much pay for Van Dijk? Sorry, sir? top three. Oh, you only not Nigel. How much? How much pay for Van Dijk? Seventy-five. But it's relative to the market, isn't no, it? It's not, no, it's, it's, a it's not. 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 I can't no, say. It's the not average has price. he not been worth seventy-five so far? That's not the point. The point is, I when don't you think him, so. He was not market average when you. What did you win? I hate the money side of what, the game. What did you win? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to have a what conversation. What did seventy-five about million it? buy you? What you bought? He bought. He, you, you know when you walk on a wooden What's floor. Your final? You know when you walk on a wooden floor and you can hear those creaks. Yeah. He's taking away those creaks. That's what he bought for our defense. Clubs getting fired by Christmas. Bits. Okay. Speaking but of this bits, year, this year Christmas. Ah, uh, <laughs> This year, the the I see the Mourinho, Mourinho, has started. Mourinho, the the Rocha started. Mourinho will go first. Mourinho is going. This is basically Neil's way of trying to say if if if, if, if Spurs have a chance <laughs> of winning the league, Klopp needs to do badly. Like that. that's what he's trying no, to say. No, the, the, the decline of Liverpool has started. They only scored one goal, except like one goal. Hmm. Yeah. What one goal? Except like do you think that's uh, the winning goal? The, but there's a that's point. The decline has passed. Has we would drop points in that type. That's of it. So you guys won all three games. Right? We're not playing next. Leicester City off first one. Right. Pull up the fixtures. Leicester City off first one. Away or at home? We are away for the next two Ooh. games, and then we got you all on Monday night. So I'm gonna drop six points in the next two games, right? 
If you all drop six points, I'll be shocked. <laughs> I don't think Liverpool's gonna drop points. What? Next week, not fixtures. too many points at least. Wait, wait, fuck! You forget to fixtures. Yeah. How we did in our bets last week, cut. Okay, let's go for. I'm not did gonna you? pull it up now. It's gonna take too long. But we went Wolves, Man City. We went Man City to win. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. We said both teams to score. And we got that right. And we got that right. Yes. Of course, yes. yes. But anyway, let's just talk about Wolves a little bit because I was like, um, you uh, were Wolves, like, no, Wolves, Wolves made too many team. signings. Wolves, Wolves, remember Wolves I said, those teams that come up, Wolvesburg, they, play, <laughs> they played brilliantly. Those teams Wolvesburg. that just come up, they go in guns blazing. That's yeah. what Wolves did, although they, they sat back a bit, but that's the results you end up getting. Pep last season dropped points to the teams that came up and played against them. So, let's see, Wolves for me can be a top 10 team. Can. There's been enough money to warrant that though. Bournemouth, Everton. I think we, we, got, that, Everton. we got that one right. Yeah. No, Everton lo- drew too well. No, we got that one. Oh, where's a bit? Just pull a bit in your email, dog. No, I didn't get any email for that. Hollywood didn't send me an email for that. Oh. The Arsenal West Ham game, we went. Uh, Arsenal to win. We went Arsenal, Arsenal to win. Yeah. I just feel Cardiff. Johnny Welbeck with the icing on there. I just feel Cardiff. <laughs> game of the weekend for me. Okay, your game, game of the, the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, draw. Southampton, Leicester. <laughs> to be fair, they did have two genuine red cards in that game. Southampton, Leicester. Who did we go? We Leicester. Right. We and we got right. that right. Liverpool, Brighton. I think we went uh, Liverpool. Well, you may have gone. We didn't draw. bet on it. Didn't bet on it. Watford, Palace. We went Palace. And we went Palace. Fulham, Burnley. We went Burnley, I think. We did go Burnley. But for me, Fulham are going to be a surprise package. I think they're going to score some some good amount Either of goals. Either that or Burnley as shit as they looked the other day. No, no, no. They have got the Europa now, so unfortunately okay. for Burnley, the start to their season might be a bit tough. Newcastle, Chelsea. We went with a draw there. I think we went with a draw. And how did that go? It was <laughs> a bad game, but we won. <laughs> no, did we go for a draw? I think we went for a we draw. We went for the, we went for the chasing odds. It should have been a draw. We chased the odds, yeah. Man United Spurs, we got spot on. <laughs> Did we say 3 0? No, we're not 3 0. I think it would have been easy to predict 3 0 as well. But check us out, please. We haven't won at Old Stafford since 1991 or whatever. Is that the record? <laughs> no, we haven't. We haven't Two won. Two in those last 23. We haven't won at Old Stafford. Three in those last 23, I think. United have never been beaten 2 0 at home in the Premier League era. Since 92, they've never lost a game 2 0 at home. 3 0. And now, now it's 3 0. Lovely. United have never Just been lovely. beaten like that. Eh? Dude, Mourinho goes you know what, to he teams a... and he breaks statistics. He came to Chelsea. <laughs> he came to Chelsea, never been beaten at home. Then the whole season they were trapping us. Hey. Right? <laughs> whole season. Hey. It's going downhill for you. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm not even keen to the game. Did you see his interview? Did you see his interview? I didn't watch it, no. His interview. Uh, you watch it? Yo, bro. Watch it. Watch his exit. Just watch the exit. The exit. What was the score today? What was the score? Yes, three nil. Three. This is three. Three nil. What is this? Three. This is also three Premier League titles. I have three. He's all about himself. More man. than all 19 managers combined. Respect. 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 No, listen, respect. What are you going to tell him? Do you know what I'm going to tell him? What are you going to tell him? What are you going to tell him? Pep Guardiola. One. Uh, who else got one? Who else got Nobody one? in the top four. No, someone else got one in the top Who four. Who got one in the top four? No, no, someone else got one, bro. Like Pellegrini won the Pellegrini league. Pellegrini uh, one. That's it. Does Pep have one or two? Pep one. Got one. Pep got one now. Pellegrini got one? Yeah. Mark Hughes. For <laughs> <laughs> a championship. As a player? <laughs> as a player. As at least Did two Mark or three. Did Mark Hughes win the Premier League as a player? Yeah, I would you like it? Yeah. He was no. not as a manager as a player. No, I'm mean, saying, he, when was he playing at United? He played at United. He played at United when they won the league, bro. 90, yeah, uh, mid 90s. Okay. Yeah, he was there when Fergie was there. Okay, fixes nah. for this weekend, guys. Leicester, Liverpool. Let's bet, except. To bet. Let's bet. Wait, 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 wait. I want to talk about this Hollywood bet, uh, not the accumulator. The oh, in game. Oh, Covenant bet. One oh, game oh. bet, what? Build up or whatever. A bit builder. You Brilliant. Can. Now, you know before you could bet on the outcomes of the games or certain like things around the game, right? Mm-hmm. But you could only place one bet per fixture. So I, in this fixture, I could say half-time, full-time. Or in this fixture, I could say more than five goals or whatever, right? But then if I try to add another thing from that fixture to my bet slip, you weren't able to. So now you're allowed to say in the same game, United to lose, Kane to score, O to hit a crossbar, 
more than five times. Wow. It, makes, it makes United games so more exciting. So yeah. Last night I went woodwork. I went United to score more than 1.5. You get to watch all these little things in the game as yeah. opposed to just fall off to sleep watching United. No one is falling asleep watching him last night. We need a United fan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a United sure. fan here. We need someone. To, We're waiting for the Max to, to come out. To yeah. We're waiting for them. They're not, they don't want to be on the show for some reason. <laughs> uh, let's go to the rest of the fixtures. Chelsea Bournemouth. Four out of four it's for a, Chelsea. That's a, a tough one. Oh, it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's not Chelsea. Chelsea no, 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 should be Chelsea. Chelsea should be Chelsea. Yeah. Should be Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough like one. But but I think okay, Casper <laughs> Nielves. <laughs> get get uh, get get your fake Yeah, no. I think it's two 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 nil. Two nil. Okay. Should we just go back to Leicester Liverpool and say both teams to score Liverpool to win? Yeah. I'm not betting on Liverpool. Brighton full. Leicester. I want to see. I want to. Right. That's what I want. What's the odds on Leicester winning? Okay, you pull up the fixtures. I'll do the bet. I'm phone's recording. Who got the fixtures? You got fixtures? I'll, I'll get the fixtures on my phone. Uh, the other fixtures: Crystal Palace, Southampton. That's all. The tough that's, draw. That's the Palace at home. Yeah. Palace gonna win. Sorry, Zaha. So Southampton are low key playing. Zaha is a must for fantasy league, and yeah. Now he hasn't done. Crystal anything Palace yet. is playing. Sh- Why are we going through the fixtures? Shit. While we're going to the fixes, let's talk a little bit fantasy league options as well. Okay. Might as well. Go back to Chelsea. Hazard in form. No, but he's not starting. Is he ready to start? He's going to start now. Yeah, start. He's going to start now. Should he have Hazard? Especially with Note the Brain, I'm going to put Hazard in now. Um, and he's actually playing. A, he played a little bit more centrally. He played play the whole game. I've been parking yeah, with money in my pay. Yeah, he played the whole game. game. He played very centrally and had a lot of freedom. Yeah. And he was man of the match. Who's the same? Was the man, Hazard. Was man of the match oh, okay. with, a, with a assist. Brighton, Fulham, Sessegnon, you're going to stick with him for yes. Fulham? But he's also not playing full games. I don't know what's the story there. Because he's, I don't know what to play him. He's a left wing back, left midfielder, left winger. He can play yeah, all those roles. Winger. My man play in his parent club. Yeah. Kennedy, um, my man. Get Kennedy in your team. Everton, Hudders. Everton, at home. Everton a fantasy Benny. league pick there for that game? Not Richard Leeson. I told you Richard Leeson. He's one game out. He's one Three game games. out. Three no, games. straight Three game. Straight red. Three straight games, red. Red. Mm. Um, Walcott. Walcott is a good pick for fantasy. But Walcott's Walcott's good good. Good. Yeah, he's been and now that Rickarlison's not there, he might have a little bit more, yeah, more that's show. That's a good pick well. for fantasy, actually. Yeah. Huddersfield, Lozel. Gotta have that goalkeeper, man. No, he gets points that. even when you're conceded. I got he's on nine your bench. points on my bench. <laughs> no, because it's the first, it. it's the first game he started. <laughs> It's the first game he started. Really? Yes, for the season. Yeah, the top season last season. Yes, but Ben Hamer played, ben Hamer played the opening fixtures. Hammer man, yeah. Yeah, this asshole only played now. In Nine the... points marking on my bench. No, but he's a master. I told you, I pick goalies on what they, on their value, not on what I think they do. He had such a good season last season. I just paid 750000 for him. No. 750000 The of goalies. West Ham Wolves, top game. My Wolves. game of the weekend. <laughs> Wolves! <laughs> Score his throw. Score his throw. Wolves. Wolves. <laughs> Wolves. <laughs> Wolves. Wolves, is, Wolves is amazing. I like the way they're playing. They, they beat, they beat Crystal Palace. Uh, West Ham's at home. Yeah, Anatovic came off injured. Right, West, Ham, West Ham has to win yes. this one. Anatovic came, 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 came off injured. injured. My man's going to play now. Which one? Lucas. Lucas is going to play now. So Lucas, right, West Ham has to win, bro. Who can I'm making him my captain. I'm holding West Ham. We're gonna get a win here. Otherwise, he's my captain. But I honestly feel there's gonna be goals in that game. To six goals, goals, goals in that game. Yeah. Man City, Newcastle. Interesting one. Uh, Kennedy, interesting Newcastle. One. Kennedy to score a bicycle. Do you know what? I'm going goalless draw here. What? I'm going goalless draw. City's yeah, at home. Have, yeah. you see, have you seen how the guy City? plays? How? What's his name? What's the manager? Me. City is four going odds, to six, yeah? destroy. Four odds. We, we're doing a battle, yeah. City <laughs> is going to destroy Newcastle. No way. City. Have you seen how they City? play? They're so defensive. So City they, is play. And they played at home yeah. against Jola. Yeah, they play. They play. Full pass. That works Two against passes. whoever you want to work. I, I, my prediction is this week, Sun is in a start. And Sun is in a start with a fury. Sun is coming into the team this week. I don't know what's happening in that midfield. See, That's why I'm going with a draw. He's making too many changes every game. And he's going to have a lot of di- disjointedness. That's my hope. I feel like they're going to get it together against Lucas. And Lucas is going to make the mistake of setting up defensive. You can't set up defensive against They're Lucas. always, they yeah, always should be never. City must make them think about that. They, they play offense. horrible football. Newcastle. Horrible. <laughs> uh, they lost again, Newcastle, but 
I think uh, they scored a goal. Yeah, One. yeah, they scored Joss one goal. Wait, I Joss think Luke you need a, points in France, is You need a penalty. You need a penalty against Newcastle, Newcastle to beat them. Opinion. Midfielder for City, to... Silva. De Bruyne not there. Kundigan Kundigan and Mare is not guaranteed to start. Kundigan got an assist this weekend. Kundigan and Bernardo Silva. Patches. Patches, but he's starting them. He's ah. starting them. Not patches, actually, good players. Okay. Okay, Cardiff Arsenal. Cardiff haven't scored a goal this, this, of course. this, Cardiff this, Cardiff this season so far, yeah, at home. We have it to score any time. 1-1 one, one throw. 1-1 <laughs> one, one throw. <laughs> so they're going to get their first goal. Cobbs, how's it? Some input there. How's it? How's it? Ramsey. <laughs> Ramsey, Ramsey, to score first. Ramsey to score against his old club and not celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> the hands of celebration. You know, I made me watch it last year on the Hollywood Bears on Nacho Monreal to score first, right? Yeah. I won. 250 rand on the 10 rand pit, right? Yeah. I was so happy, and then I went to check the stats, and I, read, I checked that man had never scored a goal for us until he scored that goal. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I put 10 rand on the odds to score that and never scored for us. But he had a productive end of last scored, season. No, he he scored, scored a goal assist. He's, he's the coach. He's the coach. And Arsenal is the only player that I feel confident about. Because he's consistent. Not sure. But hard to put him in your fantasy league when you got left backs like Robertson, Austin, Mendy, Alonso. He scores though, he scores. But he does, he does. And oh, he's been Nacho. okay. Yeah. He scored one. Last no, season, last the end of last season. End couple. of last season he was being okay. Let me tell you, the And he assists too. My fantasy team, again, is always to put the cheapest, rubbishest defenders that you can find. Because you never know who's going to concede, bro. Yeah. It's so hard. If you're putting aggressive, I was like um, Alonso, that are going to get a lot of you're assists. getting assists and goals. I have Trippier. Like, if you get, get all that take penalties or all that take free kicks and yeah. corners, just different tenants who are paying a premium for them. As Pelicueta, when he was playing as a... As a, a right back. A right back was worth it at yeah. that time. Now, you can't put no one there for clean sheets. You never know who's in a clip. Keep clean sheets in this. Who's yeah, okay. you've got to get the assist in there. How many goals was Liverpool considered this season? None. Exactly. To be fair, to yeah, be but fair, even still our best our best points get is Robbo because he's getting assists. So yeah. he, it's always wise to look for that order gets assists, whether it's from a set piece or a corner. As you this is the week that the, the, the what you call a collapse of Liverpool starts. Okay, Ooh, next game. <laughs> <laughs> Burnley United. This is gonna be a. Good I think game. Liverpool's gonna go through a whole season out. Conceding a goal. Oh. <laughs> Van Dyke and also Ellison. trying to get material here for his shows. What guy? <laughs> Van Dyke and Ellison, my friend. No, Burnley one, United, guys. One, game. One, one one draw. Sunday's game. Beauty, actually. Yo, that's, uh, that game was the, was the one. I got the game of the weekend, bro. Yeah, because Burnley, <laughs> Burnley are United. wounded. Yeah. Right Burnley are Burnley wounded. Burnley's at home. They're yeah. both wounded. 1-1. One, one. United are wounded this from is last cool. season. Let me tell you something. Burnley United is blood sports. The land right to the end. <laughs> with my damn good, good, good powder in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, Polo's spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. Burnley vs United. <laughs> so who's Van Damme in this story? Huh? Yeah. Out of Burnley United. Like I, think, I think Burnley's Van Damme. <laughs> Hey, I think Van Dam got a knockout Burrito blow here yeah, this week. Last night. Uh, talking about yeah, he was booting things on the side of the field. What kind of that Bali? I thought Austin uh, copyrighted that move. But the kicking. The kicking of what's about us? Did you, who do you think is going to end up at uh, United? Oof. Zidane. Diego Simeone. Why no not? ways, he will never uh, leave. Why not? I think. Why not? He's, he's, he'll never leave. I think he did that. On purpose. On purpose, yeah, Zidane. It's possible. Who was the last manager before he came in? Mourinho. Benitez, no, Benitez. 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 But I think he did that in I think he did that in Yeah. I think it's quite possibly to that in Yeah. They always do that to make themselves available. Didn't Mourinho just do that now recently? Someone pulled a year off. Someone pulled a year off recently. Even a six months, halfway through the season. Just Someone did that now. I think it was Mourinho. It's quite possible. Taking a sabbatical. Zidane to... To replace... To... to uh, Again. Do you think United. there's collusion when that happens? Do you think the United board comes to Zidane? via agency. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just oh, yes. don't take another graph. It was done in the World Cup now recently. A board went to the Spain coach. Yeah. No, but there they signed him outright. Yeah. They tuned him in the World Cup, so we'll be signing him. Do you think Oswald is running in Chile? We don't know how much he was in a fight. He underperformed according to our Any team. Any good uh, manager will do that. Yeah. Any executive good club manager. Yeah, executive. 
Yeah. What if Zidane no. went to the board and said, "Hey, gents, take I'm this I'm chilling guy. when the beach is Yeah, I know. If this all flops, I want to be there. Because I, I mean, you think about the wages that United's gonna pay Zidane. If Zidane comes in. He's coming in waxed. Is he done that good a coach though? <coughs> no, I don't think Zidane's a good coach. He's a product of the system. Like <laughs> again. Mm-hmm. Hey but you can't frown on three champions leagues, bro. You can't, yeah, Ooh. Neil, you can't but because look what he's done with Ronaldo. Look what he's done with Ronaldo. Okay, Ronaldo is what class. He's a legend. No. Okay, cool. Every team Ronaldo has been to has been the best but team in the world. Team. When he's there. Cool. Ronaldo okay, it's Ronaldo, but, but a lot of other managers like look at where he's playing now in yeah. Italy. Check what I don't know. Okay, what Juventus become the best team this year? Ronaldo did nothing in his first games. He did nothing. Our for first game was a production. Yeah, yeah. So lots of ask him to do. Have you watched the Niesta, bro? In uh, in China, China. oh, Japan is amazing. I haven't. Well, anyone's amazing. I'm sure I can get a game in Japan. I haven't trolled in a long time. Demba Park, got 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 someone. I can get a game for someone in Japan. <laughs> and Rooney, just, just Rooney. Based on heights alone. <laughs> Just be yeah, Rooney's doing. Oh, did you get so many soccer Rooney in, 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 in America. Christopher Samba. He's playing <laughs> like a Sunday league. Christopher Samba got so many crabs because he was tall. I can be that old in, in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> All the corners, you're there, just standing, not even jumping. And yes, <laughs> the one, the one coach used to send him to play as a striker when they were down. Who was it? Was it not Harry Redknapp? A QP on which? Yes, this is Twitch sounds like Demba Ba is one of the top strikers there. Talking about. Uh, Liverpool and not uh, being able to. Wait, win before carry on, I'm gonna tell a story. I'm talking about, about the last fixture. Talking okay. about debuts. Talking about Ronaldo's debut. Do you remember Jonathan Woodgate's debut for Real Madrid? Yeah. When he Penalty? fell. Penalty. Red card. OG. <laughs> I remember that. Which ah, is? And then he got injured. He <laughs> injured him out for the season. Real no, Madrid. He got red, he got red card. Real Madrid signed. Leap. Not Leap. Oh yeah. Danny Mills. Someone weird. Yes. Like, it was Danny Mills. No, huh? Everton's Gravison. Wasn't it? Yes! Thomas Everton. Gra- Thomas Something Gra- 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 from Everton. Didn't they sign Danny Mills except? No, they signed no. Jonathan Woodgate. No, they signed another sketchy, sketchy mm. bongo. Gra- <laughs> 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 sketchy <laughs> bongo. No, I can't think of who the host name was except. Oh, I want to Google that now. But anyway. Okay, last fixture. I think this is going to be the comeback down to earth. Watford vs Spurs. Watford will win. Comeback down to earth for who? For Spurs. For Spurs. Watford, Watford will win. <laughs> <laughs> For someone here, yeah, someone playing, is coming down. You're playing, playing away. I'm gonna go Spurs for a win again. Hmm? I say Harry Kane to score think. three games in a row. I think you can beat them, definitely. I think you're also that team that Four can start slow. I think you're the team that starts slow, so is Watford to a degree. But then once you get going, you're gone. But Watford, Watford is Watford, on fire. You can pipe them, Watford, Watford hasn't lost the game. I don't know if it's a pipe for, for Watford. For Watford. Like I'm going, but Burnley, Man United. That's the game of the season. It's blood sport. Ball of us one time. Blood sport. Two bloodied eyes. The competition. Nose. Oh yeah, shot. Just uh, at the end here, we want to say that I was, we, I'm setting up, I'm setting up the social media now, so I'm going to share it like with everyone. But in the meantime, uh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sister Petrina, we in the, I'm going to say in the meantime. In the meantime. <laughs> hey, baby. Uh, we got some prizes to give away. So what do you think is a good way to give away prizes based on what? Um, also, it's going to post the best question for us next week to answer. Or predictions. predictions. Or Fantasy League week. Let's give away. Let's give away a trip to watch your favorite team versus Man United and Hollywood. <laughs> no. And all travel. And Hollywood. Yeah, what a funny. Uh, and a funny. Yes. Yeah, and a bunny. Price. Yeah. Don't, don't frown on the price, bro. You know, <laughs> don't frown on the price. <laughs> Who don't want a bunny chow? Exactly. No, of course. Game, With uh, beans. With beans. Yeah, chicken and beans. We like a, a family a video clip is like a video clip is like a just, well a video and audio because for the podcast podcast yeah. we we'll have to put the audio in in your team kit team jersey media. in yeah. your team jersey yeah. um would want a comment or a question or on on <coughs> to this week's question and this week's question is yeah <laughs> Scores, that's what I'm saying, score prediction or Fantasy League week. Let's set up a bunny chance for breakfast. Fantasy, Fantasy League, league. team. Yeah. And whoever gets the most game week points right. wins a prize. Okay. And obviously we have it in the, in the How many prizes are we giving? Because there's quite a few things we're talking about. No, no, I'm saying 
Let me give away one or two prizes. It depends, but that depends on. We need to come up with some luck. We just spoken about this before we came. No, no, no. There. It's good because we want some feedback on that. Okay, give us some feedback. This is what I think we should do, right? Yeah, the Neil competition Green. is to make the competition. Neil the Green. competition. <laughs> 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 right, the competition. Uh, as you come up with the competition. <laughs> right. Tell us what competition we win. We should run. <laughs> the best who can win. <laughs> Yeah, that's wild. Neil Green supports Spurs. Yes. Because his father supports his Spurs. Yeah, that is correct. So, we'd like a picture of your child with a uh, with the team you jersey that you're forcing them to support. <laughs> that you forcing forcing them. being the key word. Yeah. <laughs> the child can't choose. In, in, yeah. in my defense. We'll give you something for the defense, best picture. What, you, what would you say your son? Oh, you said your son not really into football. But he's forced to support Arsenal, they both are. Right? But I'm saying there's an age where you start becoming aware of football. At the age where I became aware of football, 1990, 1991, Spurs yeah. had Gascoigne in his pump yeah. at that time. So, uh, it's like. I had Burkamp in my. My Austin my jersey was opening. legit, dog. Like, I had. I had he said, Spurs have always had exciting teams, but not always for the right reasons. Yeah. Like, we've been in I was a huge Klinsman fan. Jürgen yeah. was my oh, own. Yeah, I was a huge Jürgen. And then Ginola. We were losing a game against Liverpool. Huge Ginola fan. Ginola yeah. was a we were losing a game. He cut him from the, he the cut left. He from the left across, across, across. He was a master. In. Spurs have always had good players. Darren Anderson. Just always, or sick notes. Oh. That was his name. Yeah, uh, he, he, that was a career won by injuries. But uh. We've always had good players at Spurs, but we've also always had Fox. Roll Fox was a patch. So. Yeah, you didn't like Roll Fox? What's that? Oh, Ramon Vega. Hey, we've Ramon had some Vega. horrible players play a full season for us, dog. We've had horrible players that play in England. You had Ziga? Christian Ziga? Rubbish. Rebrov? From rubbish. Liverpool. Uh, yeah, Rebrov never worked out, yeah? The way. Uh, don't work out, dog. The way Shevchenko worked out after they both left. Was it Kiev? That was Kiev, yeah? Right, so the competition Sergei is, uh, for this week, the competition will be, the winner will be the person that comes up with a good competition idea. Yeah, yeah for real. Cool. That's, and we're going to set up the Body House for Breakfast Fantasy League in the meantime. I will share the code with... With people that make comments on social media. Well, we want everyone to join in, so we I can don't, give our I first don't. Game. I want to finish quite high to the top, so at least people... <laughs> 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 no, we're starting from game week I've never won, I want to win. Let me tell you how it feels to be, tell you it feels to be a champion. Okay, and, and our won, podcast won, has come to an end. I, I, I finished second, the yeah. first year we had it, yeah. and I won it the year after that. Where's the trophy, Cass? From a pause, it's Still got it. It's the actual trophy. Yeah, we were, yeah. Serious, we were serious about this thing, right? Yeah, we took it very serious. I was even drank out of it once I was got sick. It's an old, old trophy. It's <laughs> fitness, that's what you're about. <laughs> Walking around with it. Yeah, and then uh, oh. we'll, we'll check uh, next week as well. Once those come up with ideas, we can come up with an idea for the prize at the end of the season for Fantasy League and stuff like that. No, I'm not. I'm not. But a uh, shot for a lucky child. And a Away. Good Owens and a good chat. It was good. And let me go fetch my child from school now. Peace. Till next week. Till next week. Bunny Charles for breakfast. The bunnies were top. Bunny. <laughs> you guys need a song. Bunny Charles. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, that song cannot be like you sing like that. Hey, actually, what's in Arsenal house name? Which one? Uh, Kenny G. Uh, Gwen Doozy. Gwen Doozy.